The Employment Bridge program has been set up to help young skilled workers overcome the gap between occupational training and a career. You're always working in two companies. You have two contact persons, and it's complicated to bring it all together. You always have to arrange things with two people. Where am I when? That makes it difficult. Jürgen Fuchs underwent vocational training with Sebog, a packaging materials manufacturer. Now, as an industrial mechanic, Jürgen has to make sure the machines are running properly. He recently finished his training program with good marks, but wasn't hired. Instead, he received another offer. I was insecure because I didn't know what was in store. Then I heard about the employment bridge, but wasn't sure what it entailed. Jürgen's boss took an immediate interest in the Bavarian pilot project. Orders were down in his factory, so he couldn't hire anyone. But thanks to the employment bridge, he was able to offer the 20-year-old work for three days a week. We invested in occupational training. That means we consider this investment in our employees and in trainees very important. And that's why we look for ways to keep young specialists in our factory. After all, this is one reason we trained them. The three young men aren't employed by the factory, but by an employment company called the Employment Bridge. Two days a week they attend the Occupational Training Center in Bamberg. Today's assignment is to make this piece of equipment. First you have to mill out the contours. The three workers recently completed their training and now they are continuing to acquire new skills. Jürgen Fuchs is learning how to mill. Three days work and two days of training per week means he earns less money. I'm not sure exactly how much less I earn, but I'm not frustrated. After all, I'm not producing anything here. I'm learning something for the future, so I have to accept some cutbacks. The program has 500 slots. At the moment, 134 young skilled workers are participating. So at least they're not out on the streets. The metalworking and electronics industry and the labor office share the costs of the project. Everyone involved is benefiting from the scheme. Sebal needs qualified young workers. So he sometimes invites girls to take a look at the business as well. He says he sees the employment bridge as merely an interim solution. I feel sorry for them, but it's better than making them jobless. Jürgen Fuchs agrees. The employment bridge is better than unemployment, but he still feels insecure, like Georg Dummerauf and Stefan Will. Stefan would like a steady job. If Sebal starts hiring again, they would be among the first to land a full-time job. Of course, I hope that happens, but I can't count on it. I have to plan ahead and apply elsewhere as well. The three young men can participate in the employment bridge for a maximum of 18 months. So for that long at least, they are guaranteed a three-day working week.